In this following tutorial, we are going to set up Capture the Flag game mode inside UDK. The two previous tutorials we talked about how to set up a deathmatch map and how to insert game playable properties such as player starts, path nodes, weapons, jump pads, items. So if you're not sure how to do this, make sure you reference to the very first tutorial of how to set everything up. To set up a capture the flag game mode, you have to have all these entities and then we're going to add a few more. So first we need to have player starts and capture the flag bases. So currently I have simple player starts inside the map. I will need to get rid of all of these player starts and insert UT team player starts. So I'm going to simply delete all the player starts that I currently have. And once I have everything deleted, all the player starts, first let me insert the bases so we know where the blue and the red is going to be so I can adjust accordingly where the player starts will be too. So let's insert the team bases first. Let's go up to the content browser, go to actor classes, navigation and under here we have UT CTF blue and red so here on the left hand side I'm going to insert red and right over here on the other end I'm going to insert the blue now we have the red and the blue inside the map Let's go back up and under Act Classes, we're going to insert under Common, we have Player Start, open that up, and we are going to insert UT Team Player Start. So let's select it. And we're going to insert but three right over here. And I'm just going to take this and duplicate it. So these are the red and they're defined by the red little joystick and this was blue. So before I switch over these to the blue team I'm going to take these and I'm going to duplicate them and move them over here so I don't have to insert them again. Now let's go back over here and we're going to switch these to the blue team. So to do so double click to go into properties under team number you want to switch this over to one. This will switch over to the blue team and you want to do this for all the player starts. Now that we have them switched over, next thing we want to do is we want to position UT defense actor. This will allow the bots to know where they need to defend which area. So let's go to actor classes. Under navigation we have UT defense point. Place one right here next to our capture point. So here's our defense point. Let me move this a little bit over so we have some space. And go into properties and under UT defense point we need to define defended objective. So I'm going to select the UT defense point, lock it so the menu stays open. I'm going to select flag capture and then I'm going to use the selected object and you can see here is blue flag base shows up right inside the defend objective. So now I'm going to go on the other side and do the same thing for the red flag. So now let's go into properties, double click, lock it, choose the capture point and use it. Uh, at this point we are done with the map and the entities. What we need to do is we need to save. Go to file save as and we want to save this as lowercase v capital C T F. This stands for vehicle capture the flag. This extension is very important. Do not save it as CTF. It needs to be defined as VCTF. And I'm going to name this as CTF so I know the difference between which boxes we're playing. Uh, inside the menu to select. It's just easier for me to see because this, this extension does not show up. So this way we'll know that we're actually looking at the capture the flag versus the deathmatch map. Once you name it, go ahead and save. Now let's go to view world properties and go into game type. Open this up and let's 
change this to from UT Deathmatch. Actually, let me delete this. Uh, what we need to do is we need to set up new game type supported on this map. So to do so, just go ahead and add two items. First one is going to be UT CTF game content. And second one is going to be UT vehicle CTF game content. Next, go up to world info. Open this up. And here we can define how many players. Um, let's choose four to eight. Uh, change it to six. And we're going to, let's replace the music. Let's go back to content browser. Under A music arrangements, let's choose A music ROM Necros. Have this selected. And we're going to use selected object in the content browser to replace it. Let's go to file, save all. At this point, we are done with the map. What we need to do is we need to build our paths and make sure everything is connected. So we have an error. Let's delete this path node and let's build again. And now we're good to go. Let's save again. And let's launch the game and see if we can play our capture the flag game type inside the map. Here we are. Let's go to instant action. Let's set up a game type to capture the flag map. And here we have boxes CTF. If we go back and set up a different game mode, go to map and different maps show up. And we have the deathmatch boxes show up here. So we know that works. Let's go back and let's set it to capture the flag map boxes. And let's start the game. So here we are. Everything seems to be working fine. Both flags work, so let's see if we can run and capture the flag. And here I finally grabbed the flag. And here we go. Everything seems to be working perfectly and we have a playable capture the flag map. So this is how you set up capture the flag inside UDK. So I hope these three tutorials were helpful and you know and now you know how to set up different game types and have a more functional fun map inside UDK.